In this episode, we're finally going to deal with the strengthener at the front, and we also pick up um, the the um, the outer sill with that is hidden underneath the ring. So the wing. So we pick up the bit of the outer sill that goes under the wing, and fix that up as well, and then give it a quick paint job. We're going to start by fixing the strengthener and what we're going to do is we're just going to cut straight along and then do a bit that folds and is welded to the um, to the inner sill flange. Okay, so um, I know that this is meant to all come in there, so we'll, we'll uh, don't know how this got bent or whatever but what we're going to do is we're going to do a piece that comes along and down we're not going to worry too much about the curves and things like that um, I think that will be strong enough so we're going to start with that so that, that's welded in place had a couple of problems with these spot welds so I had to redo them um, but it's ground down nicely there this is all hidden but it's firm so that's good so um, I'm now going to move on to this. So the next bit we're going to look at is this bit of the outer sill, which is actually hidden. Um, and because it's hidden, I'm not too worried about what it looks like. I just want to make it strong. So we will cut out this. We'll build a piece that comes down and around. We'll cut out this bit at the top. We'll build a bit that comes down and around, then we'll extend it at the bottom um, to fit. I think that's probably the way we're going to go about it. Um, so that's what we're moving on to next. It is the 23rd today, and we're moving on to this piece. So I've just kind of, um, with a couple of clamps, put the sill in place. So I can see roughly how far it goes. It actually needs to go in further than this because back at the end you can feel this and you can see that we've got a bit of a gap here, but it gives the general idea about where it goes. Um, so with that in place, I know how far this should go in or come out, which is really what I'm most concerned about because remember it needs to weld up against here and then go in and connect up here at the bottom. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do the bottom first. We're going to cut out this bit. We're going to weld in a new piece, which um, we will bend and stuff to connect to the bottom flange here. And then we'll weld that in place so that this then stays firm. All right. Then we're going to come up top and we're going to try to do a piece that covers the flat, the curve up, and this little bit here. So we'll cut out a piece big enough, we'll bend this side, we will then try to bend this little bit here. I'll then look to cut this out and weld that piece in place, and then we'll deal with this one here to curve it around there and cut out this bit and put that in place. So, so we're going to do it like that, um, and that way everything will slowly get replaced bit by bit. All right, so that's the idea. Uh, we'll see how we get on.
Right, I went in for a little bit, frustrated with this. I always seem to have problems with my um, plug welds, I'm not quite sure why. I've had a little read and it says turn it up. The other thing it says is get rid of the weld through primer. Now that's argued about, um, but I was just thinking about it up here. These I didn't have any problems with. I didn't have any weld through primer. I hadn't pet spayed. I don't think I'd sprayed it. Well, maybe I had on the back. The other thing they say is turn up the heat. So it's one or the other. So I'm not going to film it. I'm going to do it on this one, which has also come loose. It's connected up here, but not back here. I'm going to drill out here. I'm going to I'm going to turn up the amp and see if that works. I'll come back. It is about two minutes later, maybe a bit more, not much. I turned up the amp, so I turned up the wire speed, and I made sure that I drilled through the the um, weld through. And that seems fairly good now. So, I'm not going to bore you with seeing me drill these out for a third time, but I'm going to drill them out, set it all up, and then we'll come back and we'll weld it together. Time lapse stopped at some point during the filming of that, and I'm not sure when. But we've welded it in across the bottom. We've come up the side. We haven't quite done the side yet, and we've done it in here. We had we had to cut this section out and redo it just to get it far enough in. Um, so um, the next bit. So it's just tacked along the top. The next bit is we're going to cut out the top and the curve, and possibly this curve here. Um, and put a new piece in there which might be quite fun because we've clearly got a piece coming from the bottom up and then we've got this bit come in um, so working out without taking everything apart which we're obviously not doing how that all works I'm not sure um, and cutting it out without you know cutting through all the other bits I'm not sure. I've also got to clamp it so that I can spot weld it properly. Um, but, you know, coming along. Um, and how hot's that? Yeah, so, um, I mean, that is, you know, really firm in there, which I guess is what I want. Um, and of course rust free at least for the new bits we'll all give it all hammer right later so that should be okay
Okay, so there we have it done. Um, I lost some of my video showing me picking up this bit of the front. Uh, it's not particularly pretty, but it is all strong now. Uh, so, so that front, um, the um, front bit of the outer sill, the hidden bit of the outer sill that goes under the wing is all done. Um, I still need to fix this bit here. I need to grind down these because they're going to be seen. I need to fill and grind these. And I need to do this bit at the back at some point. And then I need to put on the sill. I'm not going to put the sill on until I've done the rear wing because otherwise I won't be able to line it up properly because the sill comes to here, I think. Okay, that should all line up. and I won't be able to line that up if I haven't got the wing so that sill's going to actually sit for a while now um, so next episode I want a bit of a break from bodywork to be honest and welding so um, next episode I'm gonna strip out the wiring from the engine loom um, and have a look at what that actually looks like and just do a bit of work there um, as we go forward so th thanks for watching um, please subscribe if you got this far um, you're a diehard so please subscribe um, do comment and like the videos thank you bye